Let's connect the TP-Link RE500X via WPS. It's super simple, just make sure that your extender works properly. Uh, I mean, you need to see this LED indicator glowing solid blue. Also make sure that your router is connected to the internet and broadcasting Wi-Fi. And then locate the WPS button on your router, usually it's on the back panel. Let me show you. And usually it's labeled. So you will see the WPS label under the button. Press the WPS button on your router, put your router back, and then within two minutes uh, find the WPS button on your extender. Uh, this is the square button with the padlock icon. Press this button and there we are almost done. It's un unbelievable. Uh, now you can monitor your networks on any Wi-Fi device. So, uh, so far this is uh, the extender's network, but soon it will be replaced and we will see two new networks here. So, uh, let me show you. My main network is named My Wi-Fi. So I have 2.4 gigahertz band and 5 gigahertz somewhere over here. And uh, now, when you will see, when you see four LEDs in a row, it means the extender is ready. And in your networks list, you will see two new net networks, which are named the same as your main network, but with EXT abbreviation added to the end. I see 2.4 gigahertz. If you see four uh, indicators in a row but don't see 5 gigahertz extended for one minute try to uh, relaunch the Wi-Fi on your smartphone but we are all set four LEDs in a row two new networks let's connect connect it without password so far but if you need password the password is the same as uh, for your main network uh, connect it now let's check let's Let's measure the speed. Very good, good enough. Let's compare. Let's compare to the main network speed. Let's connect to the main router. Main router 5G. Where are you? Okay, okay, we know. We know. Of course, the main network is faster because this is just an extender, but the good news are that you can use uh, this device as an access point. So you can connect the extender to directly to your router using the Ethernet cable, or you can connect it to a LAN socket in your wall and it significantly increases your internet speed. That's it for today, guys. Any questions, comment below, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.